Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of my least ranked makeup. <laughs> okay, so I asked recently in my community tab because I've had a few different uh, ideas for videos that I wanted to do on Friday. Normally I do like testing new makeup, get ready with me, something along those lines. And I had a few different ideas, so I asked my community tab if you would rather see full face of my least ranked makeup, a three looks with the Natasha Denona Love Palette, or uh, testing the new CoverGirl um, Clean Milk line, whatever that new line is. And uh, it was pretty close between a full face of least ranked makeup and the Natasha Denona three looks, but full face of least ranked makeup has one out. So I have been doing a ranking series on my channel for quite some time, ranking um, my categories of makeup in my collection. So foundations, concealers, powders, highlights, face palettes, bronzers, blushes. And today I'm going to be using my lowest ranked in each of those videos to get ready. This is great. It's early. My hair is still wet, it's still drying, but we're about to put a lot of makeup on that I don't love because you wanted to see this. Let's get started. So I will have my ranking playlist down below if you want to catch any of these videos. Uh, I do have an eyeshadow palette. I'm using my least ranked palette from my big 2019 wrap up video. I've, I've ranked new foundations here and there. I've ranked new palettes against each other here and there. But I did do a wrap up of all the foundations and all the eyeshadow palettes that I tried in 2019. A big ranking videos on those and that um, those are the products that I'm using for this video. There are, well let's just go ahead and get started because I don't have absolutely everything including primers. I haven't ranked my primers. If you want to see that, let me know because I definitely could. So I do already have my primer on because I'm just going to go ahead and jump into foundation. Foundation is a little bit tricky because I actually did a foundation declutter kind of like towards the fall time and I wish that I hadn't have done it because I did then go on to declutter some of the foundations that I ranked at the, the lowest in my ranking video. So I can I can only use what I have. So I'm using the foundation that's the least ranked out of all of the ones that I still have. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's from Juvia's Place. This is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. And it's funny because as I kept going through the ranking series, people, I would get comments in the videos like, why are you not decluttering, you know, your bottom products that you're ranking? And I'm like, because I want to do a full face of least ranked makeup. <laughs> like, that's my goal. And I realized after I did the foundation declutter, I was like, that wasn't very smart. Or I could have at least kept them around. But I did have quite a few friends ask for some of the foundations that I decluttered. So I just passed them along. Um, so that's why we have to do it that way. So hopefully that makes sense. Everything else I have not decluttered. I got it together. So um, my least ranked foundation in my big 2019 wrap up video was from Rimmel. It was the Stay Matte Foundation. So in memory of that foundation, I'm going to use the Rimmel sponge that came along with the foundation. I don't mind the sponge. I think the sponge is pretty nice, but that's how we're going to sneak the Rimmel into this one. So I'm sorry, Juvia's Place. I didn't rank your foundation the lowest, but it was the lowest out of everything that I still currently have. So this is just a pretty thick foundation. It says that this one is a velvety matte finish. I am someone who prefers, I, for, I kind of forget how thick this one is sometimes. Um, but I'm someone who prefers more of a natural finish, maybe a little bit more on the luminous side. I don't love full, full coverage. Ooh, I forget that you just need like the tiniest amount with this foundation and I just went in with so much I think this is a like terrible foundation though like I, I I mean I definitely didn't get on with the Rimmel it was just too heavy it was too mask like you know I, like I said I like a little bit more natural I kind of like sometimes my skin peeking through and all of that um so even though this one is thicker I think if you liked more full coverage and you do like more of a matte finish I think that you might like this one it stays really nice throughout the day um and even though it is it is a little bit heavier. It doesn't feel like too much, you know? I have the shade Cebu, I think it is, C-E-B-U, -E um, which isn't, isn't the best match for me right now. I am pretty fair at the moment. This is almost one too that it's like as the day goes on, it almost appears to 
mesh better with my skin versus when I first put it on. It just seems a lot more matte. It's almost like my oils have to kind of come out to play and then it looks a little a little bit nicer so I do like to apply it with a damp sponge and again wanted to give a nod to the Rimmel <laughs> in here because I feel really I feel really silly that I did that declutter because I knew that I wanted to do a full face of least ranked makeup I've seen people do this for like least ranked makeup at Sephora and Ulta and things like that but I thought it would just be a fun way to kind of like recap my ranking series and now I want to move over into the declutter so this was kind of like the finale of the rankings for right now and then I want to move into the declutters and um, you know kind of get my collection in a better spot and everything so that is what is going to be coming up next so I am excited to do this video I'm excited to get it out there all of that so stay tuned we have lots of declutters coming and then if you want to see ranking videos because again there's categories like I mentioned with primers that I haven't ranked some of them are a little bit harder to rank than others but if you'd want to see more or you know ranking new eyeshadow palettes new foundations all of that you can definitely let me know uh, for concealer I have this one from Fenty Beauty this is their pro filter yeah pro filter instant touch concealer I'm just not a fan of this one I purchased it I was curious about it I buy a lot from Fenty a lot of their releases uh, I think are really interesting and really call to me but this concealer <clears throat> I was not loving I think it's a little bit drying it's not always the easiest to blend out and I just didn't feel like it looked very natural on my under eyes like it just like it, it when I wear this I feel like it just looks like I'm wearing a lot of concealer you know and I like I said with the foundations I like more of a natural finish sometimes I feel like that's kind of my makeup vibes in general like not that I like no makeup makeup looks, but I like something to be a little bit, like it looks almost more effortless, even though a lot of times I, I put a lot of time into getting my makeup to look that way. With this one, it never quite, like it just never quite settles down on my under eyes. It just always kind of sits there and again, just looks like I have a concealer that didn't blend in the best. That's kind of how I think of this one from Fenty. The Juvia's Place is pretty full coverage. I'm just going to focus the concealer on my under eyes. I'm not going to add it to any other areas. I have the shade 170 and I like that it brightens up my under eyes, especially because like I said that Juvia's Place is a little bit darker, but I don't know. I just feel like there's so many other concealers that I like so much more. So just have never just never really got along with the Fenty unfortunately okay moving on to powders so this one was a little bit interesting because I first ranked my I think this how it's what I first ranked my face palettes and then I ranked my single powders and I actually it was kind of interesting because when ranking my face palettes I ranked this one from Hourglass at the bottom. This is the uh, Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4. I ranked the palettes at the bottom of ones that I only use one shade in, and in this Hourglass one, I really only keep coming back into the bronzer. A lot of times I'm grabbing this palette just for that bronzer, and because it was so expensive, that's why I decided to put it at the bottom. But, uh, also, when I was ranking my single powders, I ranked an Hourglass powder at the bottom. I do have a single powder. It's the Dim Light one from Hourglass, one of their finishing powders. And I just, like, don't really get the finishing powders. I'm not going to lie. I just am like, ah, oh, what, what? Um, they, I just can't seem to, like, make them work for me. So, uh, I decided to choose the next powder in line. So, I will use this face palette. But the second to last powder that I ranked in my powder ranking video is this one from ColourPop. This is the No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder and I have the shade Light. Never really got on with this one very much. Uh, I like. I think that it's fine. There wasn't a lot of powders in my collection that I absolutely despise. And like look, can you see how bad I just started to place powder down? But can you see the creasing? Like it is so fast how badly that Fenty creases up on me. Sometimes when I get ready, I do film another video after this but I'm not going to do that today <laughs> I decided to have today be just this video 
and then I'm gonna work on my office reorganization actually I do have an intern who is fantastic and she's been really helping me um, with my office reorganization. So I think that's what we're gonna work on some more today. Like I said, I have the face palette from Hourglass and maybe I'll try to use the finishing powder at the end if I remember to like dust everywhere and whatnot. But I do like the bronzer out of here, but I did also rank all of my single bronzers. And in that video, I ranked the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer at the bottom. I have the shade Shady Biz. I feel like with this bronzer, I either see people absolutely love it or just absolutely hate it. I don't see a lot of like in between and for me I just don't prefer it so um, I think well her uh, let me think so I have the finishing powder I can use out of here I like the bronzer out of this one so I, I want to use the Fenty but uh, maybe I'll use I do have a single blush too but maybe I'll kind of mix in the blushes so that I can still use the hourglass palette With this bronzer I just felt like it didn't blend the nicest on me I didn't like fall over in love with the color did feel like it was a little bit too warm on me also but i bought this in store and i swatched into sun which is the i think it's the lightest shade and i felt like that one was too light for me but that was also i think it was in the summertime so i mean it would probably work on me now um so again the color i feel like it just pulls orange and again i just didn't feel like it felt like a drier bronzer to me and like I just couldn't blend it out the absolute best. So, but we're gonna we're gonna do our best here. We're gonna try not to scare away the intern. But like I said, it was pretty close between the three looks with the Natasha palette and then this um, least ranked makeup video. Let me know if you would still like to see three looks with the Natasha palette. I definitely could do that. At the time that I'm filming, I've only filmed one look with it so far. But I could definitely add in a few more and combine them all together for a video. So I'm also going to bronze up my forehead here. Moving over to blush. At the bottom, I ranked this one from ColourPop. This is one of their blush sticks, and this is in the shade Under Pressure. I ranked this at the bottom because I really don't use cream products a lot. Cream bronzers, blushes, highlights, I just don't tend to reach for them very often. So I very rarely am going into this blush stick. And I always forget with the cream products. Like, I probably could have done this even before my bronzer, but that's okay. We'll try it out. We'll see. I mean, who... I don't know if I have like the highest expectations for how I'm going to look after this video, but we'll go ahead and try it. With these, they're not like too, too pigmented. I do feel like I can just kind of pop them right onto my cheeks. A lot of times with like cream or liquid blushes, I apply like on my hand, then I blend out on my hand with the uh, sponge, and then I apply onto my face from there. But with the ones from ColourPop, I, I mean, I feel like they blend fairly easily but I also kind of feel like they not I don't want to say blend away but it's it's pretty easy to apply them this way and not worry about going overboard you know it's a real shame I still don't have that NARS liquid blush because shout out if you remember when I applied that for the first time on video and it was hilarious my face like I can still remember I still remember the day that I tried a NARS liquid blush and I just right on my face and I was like I don't think I was supposed to do that look at my under eyes that just is not like nothing about this is cute okay nothing nothing about this is cute okay there's the blush again I think if you like cream blushes you would like this one from ColourPop I see people using them a lot still I'm just it's just a personal preference for me I'm not a huge fan I feel like it's gonna fade pretty quickly but I think that looks I actually think the blush looks pretty decent at this moment okay okay I'm going to switch over to my eyes I did my brows off camera I didn't rank my brow pencils I uh, I mean again if you'd want to see that let me know I actually don't have a ton of brow pencils uh, so it'd probably be a very quick ranking video but I decided in the spirit of things that I would use a pencil that I don't love this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the brow whiz uh, this is in the shade taupe I actually didn't mind it as much today and now I kind of want to use it again to see if potentially I've changed my mind on it, but I've talked about this pencil before about not really loving it And I did have the same issue today I feel like it pulls a lot of my brow hairs off like I was like wiping my eyes because it was pulling my 
hairs <laughs> out so that part I don't love but I felt like I did my brows pretty quick and they don't look like they don't look bad I feel like sometimes when I've used this pencil most times that I've used this pencil I've been like ooh, and I have less brow hair but I don't know uh, I know it's a super super popular like I think I've put it in like makeup I hate that everyone loves type of videos and like popular makeup that I didn't get on with like you know those sort of things but I feel like today didn't go as bad. Switch over to eyes. So like I said, I'm gonna use my least ranked palette in my big 2019 wrap up video. And that is from Huda Beauty and that is the Emerald Obsessions palette. Okay, so this is a monochromatic nine pan green palette. Uh, one of the reasons I ranked it at the bottom is because truly I, I don't wear greens a lot. I don't love green eyeshadow on me. I think it's kind of a harder shade to work with and I'm not like an eyeshadow master by any means. Uh, and also I didn't love the formula on this one. I really like Huda's nine pan palettes, mauve obsessions, smoky obsessions, warm brown obsessions. I think that they're great, but for some reason the ones in the gemstone series, I don't think the quality is as nice. So I just don't think green looks the best on me. I don't know, but I'm going to use, I'm going to start with this brush. This is from the Makeup Molly Doll 10 collab. This is the shadow shader. And I mean, I kind of just want to do something maybe a little bit simple. I'm going to go with kind of more of this minty green color first. Yeah, let's start off with the minty green. I'm going to add this into the outer part of my eye and then also my crease. This is kind of like a pastel mint. I mean, if you can already see from just one pass, like there was some pigment when I kind of tapped my brush down, but then you start to blend it and it's like, where'd you go? Where'd you go, you fool? Like with some of the mattes in this palette, they just almost, they feel more dry. They act more dry. Like they're just not as easy to blend as her first nine pan palettes, which can I love. I bought so many of those myself because I thought they were great. So when I saw this gemstone series, I was like, cool, like I need some of those. And it just didn't really work out the best for me. So I'm gonna take the other matte green. I'm just gonna use the same brush and just kind of tap a little bit on the outer part of my eye just to add a little something out here. It's just harder to blend right here. I feel like I'm still seeing such a harsh line. This first green shimmer is, it's more glittery and it's really, really crumbly. I think I'm gonna use this third one. Yeah, let's try this one for the shimmer. So I'm just gonna use a dry brush and just kind of pop this on the inner part of my eye and run it back towards those matte shades. So again, it's just not a super intense shimmer and I just, I don't know. Again, kind of a reason why I ranked at the bottom is because too, I felt like the other Huda palettes were just so much better in quality that this one just kind of threw me through, threw me through a loop. One who likes palettes that are really easy to work with, um, just like fast and easy, and I just don't feel like this is the one. Like, I feel like this is taking a lot of time and all of that. So, it's hard. I'm usually, oh, like, I try to be in such a positive mindset. But I feel like doing a video like this, you're kind of immediately already like, Ugh, I didn't really like any of these projects. But, I don't know where that accent came from. But, uh, you know, some of them, like I said, a lot of these are just personal preference. Like the ColourPop blush, I don't think it's a bad product. I just don't prefer it. This Huda palette, don't really wear greens a lot. And again, I just, I don't think it's the best quality. But, but again, it just all comes down to our personal preference. So I think I'm going to mix this second green that I used and then this matte shade on just a small pencil brush. I'm going to see what that gets me for the lower lash line. I think I remember not liking that darker color. Like it was so, so patchy, but hopefully on the lower lash line we can make it work. I haven't ranked my eyeliners, but I have a lot of the same brands when it comes to eyeliners and just a lot of different shades. So I feel like it'd be really, really hard to rank those. I'm just gonna use this one here from Urban Decay. This is a 24 seven glide on pencil in Loaded. Uh, I think that it will go well with this look. Oh my goodness. 
Ooh, that was hard to open. Uh, so I'm just going to add this quickly to my water line. This is more of a green liner, kind of like a darker green. I have also not ranked my mascaras. I feel like ranking mascaras would be really hard to do because I try to turn over my mascaras pretty quickly. They're one of the products that expire the fastest in your makeup collection. And for me, I try to be pretty good at you know, decluttering or getting rid of ones that have been open for a very long time. It'd be a little bit harder to rank mascaras. So when I was looking through them, I decided to grab out one that I just don't really love. Again, this is one of those that I feel like everyone loves this mascara, but I don't. This is from Lancome, and this is the Monsieur Big Mascara. This one is the waterproof version. I have tried both versions, and I just don't really see what the hype is about with this mascara. I'm not going to lie, so... I thought it would make a good one for this video and this one has been open for a while and I know that I just need to uh, probably toss it. So I did want to say that I am going to declutter the products that I am using today that I like really don't love. So I'll do a little recap of that at the end. Eyes are done. So we got a very green look going on today and then uh, i do want to come in and use one of the blushes in the hourglass palette too i'm just going to use this bottom middle blush i'm going to go ahead and pop that over the color pop one just to kind of bring in the hourglass palette because i feel like it's not getting a lot of love from me right now so i'm just going to go ahead and add it right on top of there okay okay all right next up all right, now you're just going overboard, Samantha. Get it together. Get it together. Okay, next up, I'm going to do my highlight. So when I did rank all of my highlights, I did my single highlights, and I also did my highlight palettes. I ranked my all of my palettes at the bottom. Definitely don't reach for my palettes as much as I do my single highlighters, uh, my duos. Definitely my palettes with like three and over shadows uh, or shades. I, I just don't use them as much. So I ranked them at the bottom. And I put in here, this is one of my friends. So this is hard for me to do because I know she watches all of my videos. She's probably going to text me after this and be like, girlfriend. And I'm like, I know. Uh, but this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Bar of Gold palette. That's a joke. That's a joke, by the way but uh, this is the Bar of Gold palette. That's not a joke. I did rank this one at the bottom. I just, you know, a lot of people, wow, that was so rude. A lot of people seem to really, really like this one. It is very expensive, and I don't know. I just feel like I have other highlights that I love so much more. Uh, I feel like they're a little bit more subtle. I, I just felt like, especially for the price, I didn't quite understand the hype on this one. So that's why I ranked it at the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I think I'm just going to use the middle shade. Let's do the middle shade and see what I think of this one. Like, I don't know. I just feel, and I'm someone who, I like more of a beaming highlight. So if you like something a little bit more subtle and natural, you know, you might like this one. But I also just think like for the price, if you want something that is a little bit more natural there's also a lot of you know just more affordable ones so it was really hard for me to recommend this one and i am going to use the finishing powder of the hourglass because especially with that more matte finish foundation i just want a little i just want a little glow back to my skin and i just don't think i'm gonna get it out of the Charlotte highlight palette might have gone a little bit overboard on the blush, but you know like the kids used to say Yellow, I don't know what they say now I'm not hipping with the times. I did just download tiktok. I haven't done anything with it yet <laughs> Literally nothing, but I downloaded it Boom spray my face because maybe that'll kind of help a little bit here. I haven't ranked my setting sprays. If you'd want to see it, let me know. Again, that's something I don't have a really large collection of. Uh, but this here is the Smash Smashbox a Photo Finish Primer Rider. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. <laughs> I was going to say Primerizer, which I do like that primer. This is, again, one of those that, is, like, I just didn't see the hype with it. So many people raved about this, especially a few years back, and I just, I just never saw it. So let me go ahead and spray don't like the spray on it it's not it's not my favorite <coughs> I think I inhaled some okay whoo I don't love the scent on it either it's just a little bit odd but the spray is like it's just a little it's just a little aggressive you know 
If you guys follow Kathleen Lights, she had a couple stories on Instagram where she was comparing all of her different setting sprays and like the actual spray on them and the mist and all of that. It was the most mesmerizing. Like I watched the stories over and over and over and over again. I was like, oh, mesmer. That probably would have made for a good TikTok. Maybe, maybe not. I think you just dance on TikTok. I'm not really sure what you do on TikTok, okay? We are coming to an end. I'm gonna try one of the finishing powders in this Hourglass palette. The finishing powder in Dim Light, that's the one I already have. The finishing powder in Diffuse Light and the strobe powder in Euphoric Strobe Light, which is the highlight. So I think it's wanting me to try the center, the center shade freaks me out a little bit but you know what we're gonna do it and pe I, you know people say you're just supposed to like dust it all over and it's supposed to make you beautiful so here we go okay so I'm just gonna dust a little bit and then just you're just supposed to I'm probably doing this wrong again I'm probably doing this wrong and so many people are gonna be mad at me but you know what we're just trying things okay we're just giving things a shot and I want to look more glowy right now. Do I look? Do I look different? What about the side? Do I look different? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I no really notice anything. May may maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little. Maybe. I'm, I think I might notice something. And I think that's how it's supposed to be. Like, I do think it's supposed to be subtle. It's not supposed to be like I just applied. Like, I'm not doing the full face using only highlighters challenge right now, okay? So, I think it is supposed to be more subtle, more natural. But, maybe I see a little bit of something. Okay. 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 Alright. And, you know what? Let's, in the spirit of this video, I'm going to use a little bit of the highlighter too, which is the one at the end. And I'm just going to add that on top of the Charlotte highlight and just really give it my all. I'm just leaving it all out on this video. Super Bowl. Just put it all out there. Go, 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 go. Last, we are coming to the end. Okay. So I haven't ranked my lip products because I don't know how to do that. My hair was wet when I had the band in, so now I have this <laughs> awesome thing. Okay, maybe I should put the ears back on. So I don't know how I would rank my lip products. If it's something that you want to see, let me know. I, I mean, if I should do liquid lips and then all bullet lips and then all lip glosses. If I should do them by shades, ranking my mauve lips, my nude lips, my red lips. I let me know. <laughs> I, I don't know how I would do it and my lip collection is definitely my largest. Like there's no way I could rank all of my lip products together. I decided to pull out this one here from Milk Makeup. I wouldn't say this is like my least favorite in my collection, but uh, I was really sad because I loved the Milk Makeup original lip colors. The cream was a favorite of mine and when they reformulated and came out with new ones, I don't like this formula as much. So that is why I decided to add this one in here. I just thought it would be fun. Uh, so this is in the shade Skills, which is just a nude. They went from being a more matte lipstick to just more creamy and more, just almost more like slippery. And I just didn't love it as much. So let me go ahead and add, like I like the color. It's kind of like this peachy nude, but it's like too slippery. I don't know if you can see like it does that weird thing like right away. Like it just applied this lipstick. And when I press my lips together, it's like, it's not cute. It's a little bit more sheer. Like I just loved the original formula so, 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 so much. Ugh, so sad. But after that, that is going to wrap it up for my full face of my least ranked makeup. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I don't feel like, honestly, I, I don't feel like I look terrible. I think if I would have had the Rimmel foundation, I would probably be having a different reaction right now, which is, again, is why I'm upset that I did that declutter before I did this video. But I don't know, the eyes, like, I don't feel like the eyes are terrible. I just don't wear green a lot. It's not really a me color, and it took more time than I would prefer to to get here. I still don't like my under eyes at all. Like I don't like that concealer, the powder. I don't feel like I don't feel like they're a good match together either. 
that's just not not a favorite of mine but I don't know I think maybe I kind of did like that hourglass powder I felt like things kind of looked more pulled together once I used that finishing powder I'll be curious to hear your your thoughts though but like I said, I did want to declutter some of the items that I used today. So with the foundation, again, this wasn't my least ranked out of what I currently have in my collection. So I am going to keep around this foundation. It's one of my newer ones. Uh, so I do want to keep that one. But uh, for my concealer, I am going to go ahead and declutter the Fenty Beauty. It's really just waiting for this video to be able to declutter it. I'm also going to declutter the ColourPop uh, No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. It's just not a favorite powder of mine, and I really like never reach for it. So I just don't think that I have to keep it in my collection. I'm also going to declutter the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. Again, it's just one that's like collecting dust. I just really have been holding on to it for the purpose of making this video. I am going to keep around the ColourPop Blush Stick. Again, this is a newer product to me by a little bit, and again, I don't think it's a bad product. I just don't prefer cream products, but I also don't have a ton in my collection, so I am going to hang on to this one from ColourPop for a little bit more. This one, the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. I mean, I feel like I should declutter it, because like I said, I, I I don't reach for it as much. I don't reach for my palettes as much, but there's something about this product that I don't want <laughs> to get rid of. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's like a nostalgia thing. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, but I think I am going to hold on to the bar of gold for a, a little bit longer, a little bit longer. I want to hold on to it. Uh, I am going to declutter my Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. Again, the quality just doesn't thrill me, and I very rarely am going for these types of green looks, so I'm going to declutter this one. The Lancome Monster Big Waterproof Mascara. It's been open for a while. I know that it just needs to be decluttered, another reason why I decided to uh, put that one in this video. Uh, I am going to keep the Hourglass Palette. I'm a little bit curious now to try out the powders a little bit more. Like I said, I do like the bronzer. And again, the biggest reason that I put it at the bottom was it was very expensive and I really was only reaching into the bronzer, but I'm willing to give the Hourglass another chance. I think that's everything from the actual ranking videos uh so what i'm decluttering and what i am keeping i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed it seeing a full phase of products that i'm not particularly thrilled about and seeing a little bit of a declutter here at the end let me know your thoughts down below i hope that you enjoyed the ranking videos again let me know i know i said that this is kind of like the finale of the ranking videos but i'll definitely do more along the way let me know if there's anything else any other categories you want to see ranked if you do want to see the lip products you know just holler at me and i will be doing my off my declutter series soon this was like a little step in that direction doing the declutter here at the end thank you to everyone who voted on the community tab that this is the video that you wanted to see i hope that you enjoyed it and had some fun with it if you guys did make sure to give this video a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video